Hello and welcome to the English Box. Today we're going to talk about vocabulary related to work. So we're going to start with a question that is often asked when people meet each other for the first time. What's your job? What do you do? Or what's your occupation or profession? We're going to look at an interview in which a number of typical questions are asked and the interviewee responds to these answers. After looking at the answers, we're going to pick out some vocabulary, some different words, and discuss the meaning of these words. So we have the answer to the first question here, what's your job? And the response is as follows. I work as an English teacher in Germany. I have worked in my current job for just over a year. Before I moved to Germany, I lived in Spain, where I worked as a teacher and translator. In this paragraph, you can see that the underlined phrase or word is current job. Your current job means your present job, the job that you have at the moment. The next question, do you like your job? And the response was, most of the time. I enjoy talking to people and seeing the improvement they make. However, I have to spend a lot of time traveling between classes and towards the end of the day, I often don't feel like talking. So I always hope the student is talkative. The first underlined phrase here is to enjoy talking. To enjoy talking means to like talking. The improvement they make, to make an improvement means to get better. So to start at a low level, and to improve, to increase one's performance or level. However, I have to spend a lot of time traveling. To spend time doing something means to do a particular activity for a period of time. And finally, the adjective at the end, talkative. A person is talkative if they talk for a long time or if they talk a lot. Moving on to the next slide, we have another question. How did you get into your profession or how did you get into teaching? Another very common question. And the answer here is just by going with the flow, really. I studied psychology at Southampton University, wanted, but wanted to learn languages. I obtained a qualification at, in teaching at the University of Zamora in Spain, after which I had an interview with an academy director. The interview went well and she offered me the job. My job in Spain opened new jobs in translation and e-learning and eventually led me to move to Germany, where I work as a freelance English teacher. Once again, we have a few more underlined phrases. We have to obtain a qualification. This means to get an officially recognized document or title from an institution. For example, a degree certificate or a language certificate saying how well you speak the language. And then we have to have an interview. To have an interview is the conversation that you have with a boss or a representative of a company before they decide if to offer you a job, if to give you a job. The next phrase we have is to offer a job. To offer a job is to ask if the candidate or applicant would like to accept the job. To open new doors, you have the sentence there, my job in Spain opened new doors. This means to offer you new opportunities, new possibilities. And finally, a freelance English teacher. Freelance means the same as self-employed. It means you have no boss, you are your own boss. Okay, moving on to the next slide, another common question. What does your job involve or what are your responsibilities? And the response here was, my responsibilities include meeting clients to discuss what they need to learn. I'm also in charge of managing my own calendar when I meet clients and the administrative side of things, including writing invoices and liaising with other teachers to help them and myself design enjoyable and effective classes. 
your responsibilities are your duties or obligations, the things you have to do to meet clients. A client is uh, a customer, someone who wants your service. Also in charge of, to be in charge of is very similar to be responsible for. If you're in charge of something, then it is something you have to do. The administrative side of things relates to bureaucracy, the paperwork, filling out forms, writing invoices. Invoices are those bills, um, the documents in which you request money from customers or clients. And finally, to liaise with means to communicate with or to talk with, to work with certain people. In this case, liaising with teachers. Final question, what do you want to do in the future? And the response was, in the future, I would like to return to studying. I want to combine my knowledge in the area of psychology with my knowledge of Spanish, German and Italian, um, what I have, which I have learned through teaching languages. Um, the problem is, however, that I still haven't worked out how to do that. So here, the underlying phrases are knowledge in the area of. The knowledge is the information that you have regarding one particular subject. And to work out can have a number of different definitions. It's a phrasal verb that's very broadly used, very wide, widely used. And this can mean to resolve, calculate, or determine something. OK. On this page, you can see that we have the definitions, the different definitions of the vocabulary that we discussed. Um, in class, it would be a good idea to repeat these questions and answer them for yourselves. So if you'd like to go through the video again, and you can write to us with your own responses and own answers to these questions. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos of this nature, then come and check out our website at www.englishbox.co.uk. I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.